Hello and welcome to the answer key video to the chemistry examination for students of ICSE class 10. Pretty much an easy paper. Students have been quite happy, unlike the reactions that one saw after the physics paper on the 17th of the month. Yes, that's the 17th of the month. So let's get started without wasting any time. This is your chemistry paper. Let's start with the MCQs. Um, the answers have been provided by my dear friend Vijay Kumar sir from Chennai, senior educator, senior teacher for chemistry. So I'm extremely thankful to him. Uh, the MCQs, the first one, 1D. Uh, I won't be giving the answers to the reasoning questions because that would take too much time. So whatever answers are like single word, etc. that we will give, you will know as we go along. So 1D. Second question, an element with the largest atomic radius among the following is lithium C. The compound that is not an ore of aluminium is C, fluorspar. Question number four, correct option is C, 16. Question number five, the correct option is A. Question number six, the correct option is B. The seventh question, the correct option is D, benzene. The eighth question, in the laboratory preparation, HCl gas is dried by passing through. This is the eighth question. The correct option is concentrated sulfuric acid, option B. The ninth question, the nitrate which on thermal decomposition leaves behind a residue which is yellow when hot and white when cold. The correct option is D, 9D, zinc nitrate. Tenth question, the correct option is K2SO4, option A. Eleventh question, the property exhibited by concentrated sulfuric acid. The correct option is D, non-volatile acid property. The hydrocarbon formed when sodium propanate and sodium soda lime are heated together. The twelfth question, the correct option is B, ethane. The 13th question, the correct option is D, the fourth option. 14th question, the correct option is 14th A. 15th question, the correct option is option D, phenol phethylene. Okay, let's now move to the match the following questions. Okay. A matches to 2, that is sodium chloride matches to has high melting and boiling points. B matches to 3, methane and greenhouse gas. C matches to 4, has low melting and boiling points. D matches to 5. And E, water matches to 1, that is as high as 2 shared pair of electrons. That's as far as match the following of second question, part 1 is concerned. Now is the diagram question. Name the constituent, floor spar. The second one is coke. The third one is hall herold process. And then there is a reaction. Okay. Then the third one, reducing agents, A. B is bad conductors of heat and electricity. C is alkaline. D, fill in the blanks, is silver chloride. And fifth one is hydrogenation. The fourth question, the energy released when an atom in the gaseous state, you need to state the term or the process, uh, electron affinity. The second one is catenation. The third one is Haber's process. And D is basic salt. And E is vapor density. Then we are talking about the structural formula, etc. that you would have given. Then the B part, given, giving the IUPAC name, is ethanoic acid. And the second one is butane 201. That finishes section A. Let's move section A. Most students have found it very easy. Let's move to section B. Let me take out Vijay sir's answers. Identify the cation in the for each of the following cases. PB2+, plus. the second one is PB2+, plus or Zinc2+. Plus. Fill in the blanks. The first one is not sodium chloride, but PBBr2. The second one is 
copper 2 plus, Cu2 plus. Then we have to go to the arrange the following. See, I need to make sure that I'm reading the correct ones. Uh, arrange the following in the decreasing order of its reactivity. K, Ca, magnesium, aluminium. Okay. The second one is B, E, C, O, and N. The third one is F, P, S, I, and B, E. The fourth one is a reaction, I mean, the balancing part, which you would have done. Do you want me to read it out? I think you would have known in any case. I'll just read out the first one too. NH4Cl plus CaOH2 uh, reacts to CaCl2 plus 2 NH3 plus 2 water H2O. Let me move to the fourth question now. The first one, of course, is a reasoning question. I'm not going into that. Identify the alloy, duralumin and stainless steel. Uh, then, uh, then of course, it's a numerical problem, which is the third one. The fourth one is also, I'm skipping it because you need to write the balanced equation, identify the gas, etc. Then let's move to question number five. I write one of the following uses. Bronze is used for making metals um, in different events. Fuse metal for soldering. Then we are, we'll skip the second one, electron dot structures and the balanced equation, etc. The fourth one, uh, state the following observation, study the following observation. The fourth one is nitrate, then it is sulfide, and then it is sulfate. Okay. Question number six. The first one is a definition. Uh, the second one is the final answer to the second one is C2H2Cl4, the molecular formula. Okay. C2H2Cl4. Then uh, the first answer, uh, third A, is copper or lead. The second one is magnesium sulfite. The third one is ferrous sulfate. Then you have an observation question. Then we come to question number seven, isomers or isomerism. Uh, then B is homologous series. The second one is a reasoning question. Then it's a numerical process. Write the empirical formula of C8H18 will be C4H9. Then you have fourth A is impure copper. Then it's an observation question. And then there is a reaction. Eighth question. Arrange the uh, following according to the instructions given in the brackets in the increasing order of the molecular weight. CH4, C2H2, C2H4, C3, H6. That is in the increasing order. The second one is Ag+, plus, Cu2+, plus, Z, Zn2+, plus, or Na+. Plus. The second one is a distinguishing one. The third one is reactions. And the fourth one, the final one, which fits into the description, NH4Cl, the first one, the a compound that undergoes thermal dissociation. The second one is PbO2 and the third one is CCl4. Okay? Yep. Oh yeah. I hope you have all done well. Okay? And uh, now it's a time to study for the optional subject, whatever yours is, physical education or economic applications or environmental applications or computer applications. We will be putting out some videos on computer applications a strategy video is coming up at 8 p.m. today. Okay, so look forward to that. All the best to you. Rest well. Thank you very much for watching.